My name is Alice and I'm from Linda's Electric Quilters. And I'm here to show you a new product that I have fallen in love with. It's called Ruler Magic. So let's get started. Let's get started by showing you how to apply Ruler Magic to your rulers. You can apply them to your rulers and also to templates. So we start out, we shake the bottle and make sure that you shake it real well. So I shake it really good to mix it up. It just twists to open. Don't take scissors and cut it. It just twists and opens up. Then I'm going to take and you just run a little thin like you're gluing on. And you don't need a lot. It takes very little. Take an old piece of, of fabric any, you know, scrap. And we're going to make it thin. Okay, about one inch. So it doesn't take very much. Once I have it on nice and evenly, I set it down to dry. And then at the end, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. It dries clear. So everything, all of them dry totally clear. So I'm going to show you a couple rulers that I already have it on. This is a two inch one. Got to make strips. Make my strip. Perfect strip. Pull it right off and I can go and make my next one. So it works great in order to keep all of your stuff. It comes right off. Now I'm going to show you one that I just did that has to do with making your squares. Just set it right on. Just turn it. If you happen to have one of those turntables, that's even nicer yet. Pull it off, and I have perfect six inch squares. Now, I did this three layers thick, and all of them are identical. So I have all three. This is one I did earlier, four inches. So they're very, everything's perfect on them. That's what makes them so nice. I'm gonna show you another one and the reason I'm showing it is there's a lot of t-shirt quilts being made right now. Seniors in school, you know, getting their last year. Got to get all of their t-shirts together from high school. So I have put it, glued it on already. It's dry as clear. Put it on my area. And you know how hard it is when you're working on t-shirt quilts. And most all t-shirt quilts, you have your fusing on the back. Again, I just turn it. See, it all stays in place. It doesn't matter how I turn it. And you have to forgive me here. I'm kind of a left-handed left person here. But doing it with my right hand. So, perfect 12 inch square. Pull it off and I'm ready to do my next square. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the Gamel quilt machine and I'm going to show you how to use it with some templates when you're quilting. So now I'm going to show you on some uh, rulers that we use on our quilting. You know that stitch in the ditch is one of the most difficult things to do. Well, with this magic ruler on the back, I can place it right where I want it. And stitch along the as if I'm doing
my ruler doesn't move at all until I pull it off, which makes it so nice when you're working on that. Now I'm just gonna do another one to show you how easy it is on your, your templates like hearts and stars and stuff like that. Again, doesn't move until I pull it off. So it makes applique around applique or stitch in the ditch really easy to do when you're using ruler magic. Okay. You can use these over and over and over again. You do not have to clean them and reapply after every use. But eventually they may get a little bit on the thin side and you'll want to clean them and reapply the ruler magic. So what you do with that, the, the directions given from the manufacturer, is you soak this for about 15 minutes in water. After you have soaked it in water and you go to rub off, there may be some little pieces still left. Doing so, I use the scrubby and simple clean. And that will take the rest of it off, make it fresh, and then, then you can reapply your ruler magic and it'll be ready to go again. Now I said at the end I was going to show you what the ruler looked like. So now we've been demonstrating and you can see that during the time we have demonstrating that it is totally clear all the way around. Wasn't that awesome? This product is so awesome and easy to use. I hope you enjoyed this and have fun using it.